All right, fam, so we are back at it again with another banger, banger video. Now, today, I haven't reacted to this guy in a long time, okay? This is Yellow Pain Christians, the scary truth about most Christians. Bro, as a believer in Christ, okay, I am a true believer in Christ. To the world, they call me a Christian. To me, I'm a non-denominational. I just believe in Jesus Christ, and that's who I follow. All right, you can you can unsubscribe, whatever, whatever you do, that's your business. But all I'm saying is that as a believer in Christ, I'm gonna react to this. I'm gonna react to this with an open mind because I don't I don't know what I don't know what to expect coming into this video. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna react to this with an open mind and try to hear him out because I haven't reacted to him in a long, long time, bro. It's been years since I reacted to him. So without further ado, I don't know if I reacted to him or just like heard one of his songs off camera. I don't know. But without further ado, man, hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications. This is the scary truth about most Christians. This is a song, so we finna go ahead and get into it, man. Let's get it, let go. I know you It's gonna this, work a miracle in your finances. Huh? The Lord is getting ready to make a miracle. Huh? Make some noise if you're ready for an increase. Huh? An increase in your bank account. Huh? An increase in your relationships. Can I get an amen? Christians. Not saying I'm not one, saying I mess up, that make me not ever want to be a Christian. Lord forgive them. They hide behind religion. I want to make an announcement. I'm a believer in Jesus. I believe that he died for my sins. I know that he's a redeemer. My problem is people I should have got saved from, but I heard they were saved. But since the beginning, the Christians been using his name for personal gain. So I know that this sound like it's unrelated, but how do we build up Americans? A group of European settlers came across the water. They was terrorists. They burned down the innocent villages, women and children, and made up a narrative. They said that God told them they were supposed to do it. Now let's make the comparison. Nowadays, nobody murder you under religion no more, and it's scarier. They murder your vision of God, and you start thinking maybe the Lord is a character. Because it seemed like the evilest people I met was the strongest promoters of Jesus. Because he died to forgive us of all of our sins, so they used that to cope with the demons. I know an atheist that molested his daughters, but he kept a perfect image. Did it for so many years, and then when he got caught, all of a sudden he turned to Christian. It's never too late, but I just find it funny it wasn't one day that he served in prison. About 30 years doing the same shit, then he found God in 30 minutes. I know this one pastor molested his daughter, the staff of the church keep on saying forgive me. I know this girl that got raped and her mama wished happy birthdays to the person that did it. I know that Jesus forgave us, but some things I struggle to learn how to work on forgiving. I know a mama who cut off her son for religion. What kind of Jehovah she witnessed? This one girl I changed my ways with, convinced herself that I cheated. She said she had confirmation from the spirit, stopped picking up calls for no reason. She got romantic with one of my closest homies less than 30 days while I was grieving. He ain't know that I knew he called me, I confronted him, and he gon' blame it on Jesus. He said God told me this was my wife. Well, she told me he said I'm her husband. So which one was God? Which one of y'all lied? Be honest, I find it disgusting. And I know a pastor that took a donation and went bought his wife a new Lexus. You know you were supposed to take that and upgrade the facility. Why you finesse? The worst type of Christians, the ones that believe that they talking to God when it's really ambition. Convincing themselves that it's genuine, trying to block out the hidden agendas. And they play on the hearts of the Christian beginners with hallelujahs and they memorize scriptures. Made me gullible because it was convincing. God, I need you to come fix me. I don't want to give up believing because I still remember all of the times that you helped me and saved me when I ain't deserve it because I'm still a sinner. It's just that all of the Christians who sent me that I got the witness, they always pretenders. All of them wicked. And for the life of me, I just don't see why I gotta forgive them. Need you to heal me, God. I know you real. That's why I'm on my knees begging. I 29, verse 13, I just wish I would've read it He said they honor me with their lips, but their hearts so far from me Father, please protect me from Christians I'm not saying I'm not one, I'm saying I mess up That make me not ever want to be I follow God but I will never ever follow Christians. I'm in the midst. I put the three of you together because he said that a three, a three I can't even get it out, Father. Lord forgive them. Right now, Father. They hide behind religion. I can't make that up, bro. You can't make it up because I've been through the same thing. Bro. Boy, I got so much to say. I don't want this video to be too long, okay? 
But dog, this man just spoke facts. As a believer in Jesus Christ, fam, look, this is the problem that 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 people have with Christianity. This is the true problem right here. Is that Christians put on a mask? They they sit there, they they judge others, but then when you bring up their life. You know what I'm saying? They hide behind religion. They hide behind the, oh, just forgive me. Oh, and this is the problem with people. It's, the, it's because people, and let me tell you something. This is why you cannot just try church and get church hurt and then say, you know what? Maybe Jesus is not for me. Or maybe I shouldn't just follow Jesus. Or then you have all these issues with Jesus. See, people have all these issues with Jesus, but the true problem is that people that follow this path, People that follow this faith, it's the it's the problem with them. It's not the problem with Jesus. Jesus is loving. Jesus is caring. Jesus is there for you. You know what I'm saying? Isaiah 41 10, fear not for I will uh, fear not for I am with you. You know what I'm saying? Like God is telling us, and He already warned us in the Word of God to be careful of false prophets, to be careful of these people that bear that bear bad fruit. You know what I'm saying? He said a good tree can't bear good fr- I mean, a, tr- a good tree cannot bear bad fruit, and a bad tree cannot bear uh, good fruit. You know what I'm saying? There are so many people in this faith that are bearing the bad fruit of Christ, and that's why you need to have discernment. You need to have discernment whether or not these people are truly following Jesus, or is this just a personal gain? You know what I'm saying? You got pastors out there talking about, oh, man, God is going to bless you. God is going to, let's get tired, let's woo, woo, woo. And a lot of pastors are using their ties to just make themselves more wealthy. You know what I'm saying? I don't think there's nothing wrong with a pastor having a nice car or, or a pastor having, you know what I'm saying, nice clothing. But when you're using our ties to buy these things and this is all you're using our ties for when we're sitting in a small facility, that's a problem. Because ties are supposed to do, ties are supposed to be given to advance the kingdom of heaven. Ties are supposed to be given to advance the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? That's what ties are supposed to be given for. It's to advance the facilities. It's to advance the church. It's to have more, have more fundraisers. Oh, whatever. Not, not fundraisers, but have more like, you know, going back to school events and things like, for the, like, you know what I'm saying? It's to advance the kingdom of God. But yet pastors are using, certain pastors are using ties to advance themselves, to make themselves more wealthy. While you have people in the church that struggle struggling financially but they're believing in a in a financial blessing a financial increase because you keep telling them hey god's gonna bless you god's gonna bless you you gotta give your ties like this is why i try to stay away from certain pastors like that you know what i'm saying the pastor that i have this is i love my pastor because the ties that we give to the church is to advance the church is to make the church better you know what i'm saying is to bring more people into the church. It's to bring more people into having a true relationship with God. Most Christians don't have a true relationship with God. They only have a true relationship with religion. That's the problem. You know what I'm saying? So for people that got problems with Jesus Christ, don't have a problem with Jesus Christ. Your true problem is with people that hurt you because you thought that you could put more faith in a church rather than put more faith in Jesus Christ. That's the problem. You have to put more faith in Jesus, not the church. The church is going to always do something that you may not agree with because why? Oh, I forgot. It's imperfect people in there. You know what I'm saying? It's filled with a bunch of imperfect people, people that are going to sin. People that's, Some people are living constantly in their sin. That's why the Bible tells us in Matthew, Jesus said that many will come to him and say, Lord, 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 we did this, you know, and we did. And he said, depart from me. I never knew you. A lot of Christians, they know of Jesus, but they don't know Jesus. That's the problem. Because if they knew Jesus, they will bear the good fruit of the faith. But they don't bear the good fruit of the faith. They bear the bad fruit. You know what I'm saying? They bear the bad fruit because this is why I tell people all the time, too. The devil is in church. So for you to tell me, oh, I'm a Christian, I go to church every Sunday. The devil go to church every Sunday, too. It's many people that have a mask on, hiding behind religion, and yet they're the yet they're being deceived by the enemy. They're being deceived by the enemy in their personal life. They're being deceived by the enemy, thinking that, oh, I'm going to get saved because I go to church every Sunday. I love Jesus Christ. Do you really love Christ? Because Christ said if you love him, you obey his commandments. But yet you're doing everything that's against him. Not saying you're going to be perfect, but you're not even trying to be a representation of Christ. You feel me? That's the true problem with Christianity, and that's why you need to follow Christ and not Christianity. Because remind yourself that religion is man-made. It was made by man. Christ never called his disciples Christians. He called his disciples disciples. He called. That's what he called them. He didn't call them Christians. This was not no, oh, hey, guys, hey, Christians, follow me. Like, no, it was disciples. You know what I'm saying? It was disciples, not Christians. You have to understand that too. Like all this religion is man-made. Somebody placed the word, somebody placed Christians on, on people who follow Christ. You know what I'm saying? Somebody placed that themselves. 
that didn't come from Jesus Christ himself. That's why you just need to follow Jesus. You need to understand the Bible, understand his character, understand who he was. And I promise you, you will avoid so many people like this in this video. I love y'all, man. Woo, y'all, man, y'all know how I get, man. Look, uh, look, look, I love Christ, brother. I love Jesus Christ, okay? And this is not me faking. Like, I truly love Jesus Christ, you feel me? I didn't start following Christ until I was 18, but I didn't truly lock in with Christ until I was about 20. You know what I'm saying? That's when I fully locked in with Christ. Like, genuinely locked in, start to, you know, obey the commandments, start to really live the way that he want me to live. You know what I'm saying? That's when I start to lock in for real. So it's a journey, it's a path, but don't allow other people to stray you away from this true faith because this is the one and only true God. Go do your research on other religions. You will see the the you will see a lot of a lot of everything in there. You feel me? But when you follow Christ and you understand his ways, you will see like, okay, this has to be the one and only true God. It has to be. There's no questions about it. No doubt about it. Anyways, I love you guys. Hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications. Shout out to Yellow Pain, bro. This was a dope song. You feel me? I love y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.